Let's now tackle number 20 on the 2024 AMC 8. Any three vertices of the cube, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, can be connected to form a triangle. How many of these triangles are equilateral and contain P as a vertex? So the idea here is we're just trying to look for what kinds of equilateral triangles we can have. So the first thing that might come to your mind is, can we have an equilateral triangle with side length one? So let's imagine we have, this is one of our sides of our equilateral triangle, right? Now, if you kind of visualize it in, in space, let's say our second side must also be one, right? Because equilateral triangle, if one side is one, all three sides are one. So, but now if we make another side one, now we can kind of see here, this third side is going to be, well, this is the right angle because it's 3D, right? This third side is going to be root two, right? One, one, root two triangle. And that's not equilateral. So maybe it doesn't seem possible to have an equilateral triangle with side length one. Now, so is the answer just zero? No, because it's possible to have an equilateral triangle with side length that's root two. You can think about this triangle over here. PRV is an example, right? Because all three sides are root two long. And it turns out actually there's no other types of equilateral triangles, right? We can't have an equilateral triangle that the space diagonal PU, it's root three, right? One squared of one squared plus one squared plus one squared. PV, PU has a length of root three. But we can't have an equilateral triangle with PU in it because U, the only side length from U that has length root three is UP. There's only one space diagonal through U. So there's no other point on the cube that we can connect to U such that U, let's say Q for example, it will not have a length of root three because U is only part of one space diagonal. So it turns out the only equilateral triangle case we have to look at is the root two root two root two. And now the question becomes, how many such triangles can we form? And it just turned out from here, it's actually not that difficult once you realize this. Because you can see here, okay, PRV, right? That's one, that's one possible triangle. So PRV is one triangle. Now we can also have P, let's see, P, V, P, V, T, right? So you can think about from the point V, but let me just draw all of, all of them to make it clear. Let's see, P, we got P, T as well. And then we have P, P, V, P, T, PV, and then PR. Are there any other space diagonals that we're missing here? No. There's only three space diagonals that go through here. So as you can see here, we have this blue equilateral triangle. We can have this orange equilateral triangle. And I know this doesn't look equilateral triangle. They look like an equilateral triangle, but it is, right? The only reason it may not look like it is because it's a 3D view. PV has length root two. TV has length root two. And PT has length root 2 as well, right? 1, 1, root 2, 45, 45, 90 triangle. So we've got this blue triangle, we've got this orange triangle, and now finally, we've also got, let's just call this a pink triangle, right? PT, PRT, that's the third triangle. And again, it may not look like an equilateral triangle, but if you can try to like visualize it in your head, hopefully the color helps with that. You should be like, okay, all three of these are all root two. You know, it's a little bit tricky in the 3D view. That's what makes this problem tricky. So as you can see, we've got a total of three triangles and their answer is three. And there's no other equilateral triangles, right? Because we found that, okay, PR, PV, and PT are the only segments that have length root two starting from P. And then we can be, okay, PR, PV form an equilateral triangle, PV, PT form an equilateral triangle, and then PT, PR also form an equilateral triangle for a total of three. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.